Hey guys, I'm Nino Filiu and after months and months of coding, I did this, which is Supermosh, the first browser-based um, data mosh editor. Um, I released the first version of it a few years ago called also Supermosh, <laughs> it's on the same website, um, but it was actually an approximation of what data moshing does. Um, it was not just true thing. You don't have to know why, but this is basically <laughs> this is the real deal. This is this is I'm really proud of it. I'm actually tapping into the MP4 um, compression algorithm to uh, to make actually real data moshing effects. Um, I'm gonna make a lengthy video about how does it work internally, but right now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So first off, um, upload some file, obviously. Uh, choose a resolution. I'm gonna take 180p. Um, I'm gonna take one video from 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 Hereditary, let's say, and another video of someone someone punching. No, someone opening pills. Right. Here's what they look like. So the pills opening video. It was like a free video. I just like the movement that it does on camera. And the uh, hereditary one, <laughs> I think it's going to be loud, so... Um, just the person screaming and turning their head. Really short video, but like, uh, the, the movement, I really like it. So wait for them to process. If it's longer video and if it's HD, it's going to take a long time, uh, especially if you have a bad CPU. So yeah, the timeline is not actually a horizontal timeline, but it's, <laughs> it's what I could call, you know. So first frame, last frame, number of times that it repeats and you can move the segments up and down. So for example, if we add uh, twice the, the close-up video um, and make it start at frame, I don't know, nine and repeat like 30 times and then we render We have the first data mosh effect that I call the glide effect, which is basically when you take like a few frames, like two or three, and you repeat them over and over and over and over. And the way MP4 encoding works, it, it encodes the image for the first frame, and then it encodes the movement between the frame uh, before. So the effect of it is that uh, if you repeat some frame, it's just going to repeat the movement over and over. And that creates <laughs> nice glitches like this. I really like it. One of the things that you can do is superimpose the movement of a video. Let's say I'm going to end up to frame 80 and start at frame 50. Yeah, 50. Uh, no, maybe sooner. Yeah, frame 30. Yeah. Um, what it does is, is it's going to superimpose the movement of this clip on top of the pixel from the last frame so the colors are retained, but the movement is added, and that's another another data mesh effect that uh, that is like uh, really nice. Um, so yes, yeah, that's basically all you need to know. Um, if you see a bug, please tell me. I I um, I usually answer to 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 some issues. I should answer to these actually. Uh, the code is open source. Uh, you can check it out. You can inspect it. Make pull request. And most importantly, it's completely free. So, you know, do literally whatever you want with it. I'm not going to log uh, your video. I'm not going to save it on my device. I'm not going to send them anywhere. I'm not going to ask you for your account, ask for, for anything. But um, you're not forced to mention me in the stuff that you make with Supermosh. But the, I, I always find it nice, you know, like just send me a message. On, um, on Instagram or whatever and be like, hey, I did this cool stuff with your website. I'm always happy to learn about the, the cool stuff that you make with it. So yeah, that's it. And if you have any question, any bug, reach out to me. All right, that's it. Enjoy.